You're listening to Slightly Warped, the podcast that tackles topics from every angle. Here's Richard Kearney and Ryan Foley. Hey everybody, welcome to Slightly Warped, the show where we talk about anything and everything, but today is special. It's the 2022 NFL <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> and uh, I'm Rick, and with me is Big Show. Show, what's up, man? What's happening? Not a whole lot. How was your weekend? That extra Pretty. day. Pretty good, you know, didn't really do a whole lot. Sat in front of the boob tube, relaxed with the missus, cooked the steak. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Man, uh, finally, finally, we're getting ready to go into some football. When We're going to go all the way through February with football. We won't have yes, to sir. go through these withdrawals anymore. That's right. And, and just for anybody that forgets, this is Chiefs Kingdom, baby. I, I Chiefs I, Kingdom. I, I can't see you. The uh the, the picture feed was messing up. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get to that in a minute. The first thing I want to do, my man, we gotta talk about these NFL power rankings. Um uh, all right. In particular, I'm not going to go through all 32 teams, but I want to talk about the top 10 and the bottom five. Let's start with the top 10. At number one, they've got the Bills. At number two, they've got the Rams. I disagree with one and two. I actually believe it should be flip-flopped. And let me tell you why. If you're the Super Bowl champion, what kind of respect are they giving you by opening you up with a team that didn't even make the AFC championship. Um, now, before you reply to that, I will say this. They open up against each other on Thursday night. It's the first game of the season. So this will be settled. I agree. And I think that's why they did it that way. Um, but I also think that part of it is Buffalo uh, beefed up their roster and the Rams lost on their roster. You know, Von Miller went from the Rams to the Bills. Was he the deciding factor? I don't know. Never know. I mean, they lost Odell Beckham mm -hmm. Jr. So, you know, that we'll see. Yeah, we, we'll see. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, number three, the 49ers. That is a head scratcher. I don't think they're top ten. And yet they got them ranked number three. Yeah, I don't uh yeah, I don't get that one myself. Number four, the Bucks. I can see that. Right now, as long as Brady's still there, they're always gonna be in the mix. I don't think that they should be as high as four, but they are in the mix. Okay, yeah, top ten, but number four, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. Number five, the Bengals. This is some more disrespect. They should have been higher than the, at least the Bucks and the 49ers. Yeah, they should at least be number three. Yeah. I mean, you know, they did represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. But, again, I guess what do we know? Those uh, big-time professional prognosticators, they make all the money to predict and be wrong. Exactly. <laughs> we just do it for free. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only other person that is wrong more than them for a living is the weatherman. That's right. Now, number six, the Packers. And I'm going to tell you why this is wrong. They should be lower on this list because the number 17 should actually be higher than them and the Bucks and the 49ers, and that's the Chiefs. Yeah, Chiefs the should Packers be number four. Even, yeah, Packers shouldn't even be in the top 10. This is where it gets brutal. Closing yeah, out at I eight don't... and nine. The Broncos at number eight. Okay. Yeah, I don't get that. I know we're going to discuss the AFC a little bit later, the AFC West, but, and I understand you got Russell Wilson, great QB, but is he enough to be that big of a factor? I, I, 
no. <laughs> no. Uh, and then number nine, the Chargers. This is a team that didn't even make the playoffs last year. And they're up higher than the team that beat them and got to the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, I can, from a Raiders perspective, I could see that being an issue. But I mean, honestly, the, the Raiders and the Chargers, whoever lost that game wasn't going to make the playoffs, you know. That was a playoff game for yeah. them. Yeah. And number 10, but they the definitely Ravens. should be, they shouldn't be in the top 10. No. And number they damn the sure shouldn't be under Denver. Yeah. Uh, more on that later on, but I, I agree with you on that. Um, yeah, I mean, the Ravens should be higher up than they are, you know, closing it out at number 10. I figure seven to nine is the right spot for them. Uh, yeah, well, they lost a lot of players on offense, you know, like Hollywood Brown. So yeah. I kind of think they need to be a little bit lower, but I'm not going to lose right. sleep over I'm not going to lose sleep over them being 10. Now, I know I mean, we're... they do have Lamar Jackson. They do. I know. <laughs> and speaking of Lamar Jackson, that brings us to the Raiders. They were number 11. They just made, they just missed the cut for the top 10. Yeah, they should be. I mean, I, 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 I got them at seven or eight, eight, you know? nine, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. I could do that, you know. Yeah. They should definitely be in the top 10 with the, with on paper, what their talent is. Yeah, and 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 we're 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 about to get to the AFC West. We really are, uh, but I want to talk about the bottom five. These five teams have the lowest power rankings, and I want to know from you which one you think is going to be dead last in the league when it's all over in February. They've got the Giants at number twenty-eight, the Jaguars at twenty-nine, the Washington used to be Redskins, now Commanders. Don't understand that name at number thirty. The Atlanta Falcons at 31, that's a head scratcher. And the Bears at 32, another head scratcher. Why does the Atlanta and the Chicago Bears make you scratch your head on how low they are? I don't think they'll be dead last. I think there's a team on this list that should be dead last behind them. That's, I mean, that's not on this list. They, they were just a little bit higher. And that is the Houston Texans. Yeah, I could see that. And I know with but, 18 weeks, we are going to see a lot of ups and downs on this list. But I don't see Atlanta or Chicago being too too much higher on this list. No, I could see them at if like 27, ended up, 28, you know. But if either one of them ended up at 32, it wouldn't surprise me. No, I mean, if any of these teams ended up at 32, it wouldn't surprise me. Now, the one team on this list that I think will be much higher in is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hmm. I think that they, you know, they got uh, Doug Peterson as their head coach now. You know, he won a Super Bowl with the Eagles a few years ago. Andy Reid, Tree. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence is a good quarterback. He now has a quarterback, an ex-quarterback as a coach. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm not saying they're going to make the playoffs or do anything, but they're going to be right in the middle of the road somewhere. I think they're not going to be in the bottom five. Okay. Uh, and I can see that. I can definitely see that. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about, we got obviously with week one, some game predictions. Uh-huh. Um, and again, everybody sit tight. We will get to the AFC West. But I want to talk about a couple games that are uh, coming up, and I, I want you to talk about some games that uh, maybe caught your eye or something that, you know, you might think would be interesting. The first game I want to bring up is uh, Bucks cowboys And I'm going to tell you this right now, and a lot of Cowboy fans are going to be mad at me. This is the beginning of the end of the Mike McCarthy era. Dallas really hasn't done much of anything to improve. I don't think that they're going to be much better than where they were last year. Don't get me wrong. Dak Prescott is a hell of a quarterback, but in McCarthy's system, it doesn't allow him to flourish. And giving away Amari Cooper did not help. True. Who'd they get to replace him? Do we know? 
I don't know, some bum off the street. <laughs> hey, can you catch? All right, what number you want to wear? You know, that kind of thing. 88. No, that's already taken. Um, <laughs> but we're not talking about the full year, right? You're talking about the game on, on Monday. I'm talking about I'm talking about this game. Bucks are gonna run all over them. I disagree. It's gonna be a lot closer than that. Remember the first game of the year last year where Dallas almost beat them? And that was Brady Tampa remembers Bay. that. That was Tampa Bay coming off of a Super Bowl victory. The first night. That was Thursday night opener last year. And, and they played pretty well. Dallas always plays good in September and October. Always. That is true. That is true. So uh, Dallas has a puncher's chance in this game. And, you know, and, and I, I want to agree with you because I hate Brady so much, but I'm I'm going with the Bucks on this game though, and I'm going with the Cowboys. Okay, so we'll keep track of that. What game you got on your uh, schedule that uh, looks interesting? Um, I mean, I I didn't know which ones we we're going to discuss, so I wrote a few down. Uh, I actually like Denver over Seattle. I think Russell the Wilson's going to make. Yeah, I think Russell Wilson's going to make Seattle uh, wish they wouldn't have traded him away. Now it's in Seattle, so it's going to be loud for him. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, I think I'm going to go with Denver on this one. I can see that. I would go with Denver too. Uh, I'm also looking at Patriots Dolphins. Um, yeah. That one. Like you mentioned about the Bucks Cowboys is going to be very close and a slugfest, but Belichick finds a way, and I don't think Tua is ready. That defense from New England is going to swarm, and I'm sorry, but um, Tyreek Hill is not going to flourish in that system. I'm not going to say that he's not going to flourish in the system. He's I don't know if he's going to have – a hundred catches and fifteen hundred yards and a dozen touchdowns. I, I don't. I'm not, I'm not uh, yeah. saying that. Yeah. Maybe for however, is a harsh word, but maybe I'll say it like this. Then he's going to find out that Tua is not Mahomes. Oh yeah, he already knows that. He's already played in the pre preseason and practice. He already knows that. He's trying to convince himself otherwise. But um, Miami always plays New England tough. I mean, yeah. they're division rivals. Mm -hmm. To me, this is a pick em game. I, I kind of like the fact that Miami's starting with them right off the bat because they're going to be able to dust off the new toys that they got. You're going to see stuff that they're going to pull on New England now mm -hmm. that when they do the matchup later in the year that they're not going to be able to get away with. I mean, I go back to, you know, the years that the Chiefs played them twice. You know, Tyreek yeah. would go off in the first game. But that second game, they shut him down. You know, uh, the difference is, is the quarterback play. However, if they do, you know, the 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 sweeps across the middle, you know, the quick slants, the wide receiver screens, that type of stuff, I, I think he's going to be just fine because his his quickness will will help him out there. Uh, but I'm still picking New England to win. <laughs> I am too. Uh, you got a second game. Uh, yep, I'm going uh, Buffalo over the Rams. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's going to be a fun game. I think uh, Buffalo has a chip on the shoulder for how their season ended. Uh, you know, it's kind of like that year that, that we played the Patriots in the AFC Championship game. And for about 13 seconds when my man intercepted the ball, I knew it was going to the Super Bowl, and then there was a flag because Ford was offsides on it. Yes. You know, that 13 seconds was ripped away just from us like it was Buffalo. So I think they're going to have a chip on their shoulder, um, and they're going to come out swinging against the defensive, you know, the defending Super Bowl champs. I don't think it's going to be, see a, that. you know, I don't see they're going to go, you know, blow them out 35 to 10, but I could see, you know, 34 to 21 type of type of victory. I can see that, and I, I'm going to go ahead and put it like this. I'm going to go just like you with the Bills, and then that'll clear up this nonsense on one and two in the power rankings. There you go. Uh, I got one more game. All right. Ravens, Jets. 
cakewalk, my brother. Cakewalk. Uh, I think the Ravens are going to do whatever they want to do. And your boy Lamar, he's going to throw for 150, and he's going to run for almost 100 himself. Think he's only going to throw for 150? Well, they're going to be ahead enough that they can just concentrate on the running game from the second quarter on. Gotcha. So I got him run, throwing for about 150, uh, a touchdown in the air, and um, the rest of them will be on the ground, and he'll run, you know, just to get out of the pocket, so about 75 yards rushing himself. But his actual running backs will do all the heavy lifting because they will be comfortably ahead. I got him winning by 14. Fair enough. Got a third game? Um, uh, Just besides the AFC games, the, the, the AFC West game, the Chiefs and the Cards, but I figured we'd go to that afterwards. Yeah, well. Because you're going to pick the Raiders game every week. I'm going to pick the Chiefs games at least, and we're going to pick a few. So, yeah. I mean, I can – I can go into that game now if you want, or we can do it later. No, no, you. let's let's go ahead and go into the AFC West. That that sounds good. Um, okay. I, I guess uh, let's start with those Week One matchups. Uh, Chargers are hosting the Raiders, but let's face it, it's still a home game for Vegas. We own California, okay? And I know there's some Niner fans out there that are sad about that. Deal with it. It's reality. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I got the Raiders by three, 27-24. That's, that's a good uh, – that's – you said what, 27-24? Yes, sir. 27-24 Raiders. I got 24-21 Chargers. Mm. And the only reason, and we'll discuss this a little bit different when we go into our uh, AFC West breakdown. Okay. But uh, I have them splitting, both winning their home games. Okay, I can see that. So that's this one's in Los Angeles, so... I'm just sticking to with my original score. So, um, yeah, Chargers 24, tw- close game. It's, you know, it's a pick them. You know, it can yeah. pretty much go either way. It is. Um, I don't, I, I think that you're going to see some flashes from the Raiders and the new toys, but they're, they, they're not going to have all the cobwebs knocked off of them yet. You, week, week three, four, five, six, that's when the Raiders are going to be humming, in my opinion. This first game, I think the Chargers are catching them at the right time. If, and I say if the Raiders are to lose this game, I don't think it'll be because of uh, the cobwebs of the offense. I think it'll be that defense trying to catch up and play better because they still have some pieces that need to be worked out. Um, that's, that's we fair. have We have better safeties. We have better corners. That would have been easy. We could have just uh, hired somebody from the local high school and probably got better corners than what we had (laughs) last year. And we were a playoff team last year. So, you know, I I think that the defense is going to get a little bit more respect, but I think that they're going to have to earn it over the course of the first half of the season. Now, um, the next game I got, um, Kansas City Chiefs at the Arizona Cardinals. I'm just going to say Chiefs by 10. The floor is yours. <laughs> uh, I kind of see this where, you know, Kansas City, I'm, I'm going back to last year um, when we opened up against the Cleveland Browns. And, you know, as a Chiefs fan, I'm going, okay, we got this in the bag, you know. And it was a barn burner, you know, for most of the game. You know, Cleveland was up on us putting their foot in our neck. I think this is going to be a similar type game. Um, mm. I got the Chiefs winning 33-28. Uh, so I think some points are going to be scored. Um, I think we'll have maybe a pick six. Um, I think we'll probably give up a couple touchdowns in the air and at least one to Kyler Murray on the ground. You know, the the saving grace that I think where we could get ahead and just really, you know, break their shins is because D hop's not playing, you know, he's suspended for the first six weeks of the year. Right. Um, so 
but you know, I'm I'm giving Cardinals their respect because it's at home. They're opening, you know, their season opener. You know, I'm willing to concede 28 points to them on this one. Yeah, let me tell you why I went with Kansas City. The exact opposite of what you said about the Cardinals. I don't respect them. They were not as good as their record indicated at the beginning of the season. They got off to a great start because they didn't play anybody. By the time they started playing people, you noticed they stumbled. They backdoored their way into the playoffs, and what happened as soon as they got in? They got bounced because they got exposed. But couldn't you say the same thing about the Raiders? Well, the Raiders did backdoor their way into the playoffs. And got bounced. And they got bounced, but they didn't get exposed. Everybody knew they had no corners. They didn't. And the Bengals they ran up and down on them because they knew they could. There was nothing to expose. It was right there. It was already I mean, done. I'm just saying that this is where I'm going to differ with. When People you look expected at the Bengals to win. They expected Arizona to win, and Arizona didn't. Right, but this is where I I kind of differ. You're in my you're in I's thinking when it comes mm-hmm. to s- statistics. They were exactly what their record said they were at the time. They did, just you re- started- did you really just go Denny Green on me? I mean, <laughs> yes, I did. But you know, but you know, nobody let them off the hook. I mean, that's what they were. You know, I mean, were the Chiefs two and two last year? Yeah, were they what their record stated? Yeah, they were. They dropped one against the Baltimore Ravens at home, and they, you know, lost to the Chargers the very next week at home. So, yeah, they were what they were, you know. Um, And we did get exposed in the playoffs versus the Bengals in the AFC Championship game. Did we get lucky in the Buffalo game? Yeah, we had the ball last you know, I'm not saying that, you know, whoever it, had that it's ball last. It's clear that you have to have less than three seconds on the clock when you take the lead against Kansas City. Exactly. And it better 13 be. 13 was too much time. 13. So, right. So, I mean, we don't know. Three might be, you might need one second to stop him. But I'm just saying, you know, we were what we were. And I think Arizona was too. Arizona's got some dogs on their team, man. That safety, Buda Baker, he ain't nothing to play with. They got a couple of edge rushers, a linebacker that was injured last year. They're no slouches. And Kyler Murray's not the greatest quarterback, but he ain't the worst. You know, he's no, not no. Zach. And I'm he's not, not saying, Zach Wilson. Now, I'm not saying I mean? they're garbage, but I'm just saying don't believe the hype because there's three or four better in the NFC. Oh, I'm not saying they're the best in the NFC. I'm just saying I'm giving them the respect. It's the first game of the year. We don't know yeah. how they're going to play. We have nothing on tape. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, I can only hope that they beat the Chiefs. Of course. You know. Because then we'll both be 0-1. But that's a whole other <laughs> point. All right. So um, the final game, the aforementioned Seahawks are hosting Denver. Now – I have Denver winning by 10. Um, I have them winning 31-21. I didn't pick the score, but I did pick them to win. I don't – who is Seattle's quarterback right now? Um, I want to say – isn't it Teddy Two Gloves? Oh, really? I could be – I could be wrong. Let me, I'm a, didn't he play I'm a, for the Broncos last year? I think he did. I, I, that's why I think that they swapped. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to – I'm looking that up while you're talking. Go ahead. Okay. Because uh, if that is the case, this is going to be interesting. I still don't think Seattle has a chance because uh, Wilson is the superior quarterback. And Denver already had a nice little defense. They were just a couple pieces away. Uh, Jerry Judy got injured, and they had garbage at quarterback. So I think with a healthy Judy – and Russell Wilson is waiting to prove the doubters wrong because I know last year people said that he was on the decline. And I think this is just what he needs, a change of scenery, and he's about to get down. Not good enough to, you know, get into the playoffs, but that's a whole nother thing. We'll talk about that in a second. But, yeah. Um, I was close. It's not Teddy Two Gloves. It's Geno Smith, basically same person. That's that's another step down. <laughs> Geno Smith and the backup 
Well, and I don't know who's starting, but it shows right now on their website that Geno Smith is number one. Drew Locke, who was the Broncos quarterback okay. last year, okay, is their number two. Yeah, um, that doesn't make me any less confident in confident in Denver. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna win this game easily. I, I I think so, pretty good. I mean, but I mean, man, I didn't realize this. I'm just looking. Noah Fant is Seattle's tight end. He was the Broncos tight end last year. Mm. Wow. There's a lot of switching on that team. That's what it looks like. W was he part of the trade with Russell Wilson? I bet you he was. He, he could have been. I mean, that that is. And I bet and I bet you Drew Locke was part of that trade too. I'd have to look that up. Now I'll also say this, whoever that quarterback is, they've got a nice little tight end as an escape valve just by having fan. And you got DK Metcalf going down the field. If you can throw a bomb somewhat accurately and get it down there, that could be a touchdown machine right there. And you and you also have Mar Marquise Godwin on the other side of DK Metcalf. So he's not, you know, he's not too bad either. Wait, so he's he's the number two and not Tyler Lockett? Tyler Lockett, I don't even show him on the depth chart. Oh, he must have got traded then. Yeah, I'm not seeing him on the depth chart at all. I show DK Metcalf, Marquise Godwin, and Drake Young, or D-Rake Young. Okay. Some guy I never heard of. Well, that okay. I was, I was trying to look at their defense hmm. really quick to see if they had anybody that was worth a poo. That Jamal Adams, I think he's overrated at safety. Yeah, I think that whole Legion of they have Nawaso at outside linebacker. He's pretty good. Yeah, but I don't but really Wilson see anybody. Scramble, so I'm not worried about that. I don't see anybody that's worth a poo. But that while you're doing that, while we're still talking, I must find out where Tyler Lockett went. Okay, um, so we obviously have differing opinions on the Chiefs and Chargers game, but uh, it looks like for the Chiefs and the Broncos, uh, we're, we're on point for the winners and the losers. Uh, after you pull that up, I want to talk about the records. Go ahead. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go down the list of who I got first through fourth. I have the Kansas City Chiefs finishing 12 and 5. Um, I think so many people are saying, oh, they're not going to win the West again. Unfortunately, they're going to win the West again. I have uh, the Raiders. He's still showing with Seattle. He must be injured or something. Oh, he okay. If he's on IR, I can see that then. Yeah. Now I've got the injured. Raiders finishing at 11 and 6, one game behind the Chiefs. I've got the Chargers finishing third, 10 and 7. Those are my playoff teams. I've got the Broncos finishing fourth, also at 10-7, and seven, but because of a, a tiebreaker situation, they won't get in. Chargers will get in. Man, we are so close in our records. <laughs> what do you got? That's, that's <laughs> sick. But, we I mean, same order. No, it's not. I apologize. I have the Raiders third. Uh, but the Chiefs. Oh, I the got level this. of disrespect. <laughs> no, it's but it's no disrespect. Let me finish. I Chiefs. I got them at thirteen and four, winning the division. You had them at twelve and five, so we're right about the same. Yeah, I have the Chargers and the Raiders both at ten and seven, but I have uh them that by the record by by the records of the the team that they play common opponent. The common opponents, Chargers will have the tiebreaker. And I got the Broncos, man, stinking it in at five and twelve. Whoa. Wow. You think that the Broncos are gonna be that I am bad? not giving there is no way Denver is gonna win ten games. Not in this division. I got them getting whooped by all three teams twice. Wow. I, okay. I you're not wrong. I can see that. Um, and in, until they show me something different. Now, I could see the Raiders winning a couple more games and the Chargers losing a couple more games or vice versa. 
you know, and I can see the Broncos being, you know, seven and 10 instead of five and 12, but they're not, they're nowhere near going to be close to the playoffs. And I only see the Chiefs, and I'm going to give the Chargers the go-ahead because they've been on this Charger train for the last few years. Um, I think the Raiders are still one year away under uh, the new head coach before they start making some serious noise in the AFC. So you think, a team, you think a team that made the playoffs last year, that improved in the offseason on offense and defense, is taking a step back? Dude. They won. They got to the playoffs by luck. Let's call it what it is. Okay. It's no. It just like when Buffalo lost, the Chiefs beat Buffalo by luck. Now you say they by didn't. luck. You say by luck. I want to take you back to last season real quick because I know we're getting ready to run out of time. But okay, this team needed to win its last four just to get in the playoffs. They were dead in the water. They ran the table. They did the impossible on the road. Beat the hell out of Indianapolis a team that handled them, handled them last year. They beat uh, a couple other teams. I can't remember who all, but they you got mean in. the year before because they only play Indianapolis once. Yeah, the year before Indianapolis gotcha. handled them. But um, Indianapolis was just rolling, just rolling, and they beat them. Um, And then they had to win the final game of the season, the last game of the season for everybody, that Sunday night game. They handled and- the Chargers. And Bear, no, it did not handle them. It went into overtime, did it not? It did, but that – okay, I'll give you that. They didn't handle them, but here's my thing. And didn't they run the entire overtime quarter out and then kick a field goal? No, both teams had the ball, and then the Raiders right, got no, it No, I back. know that, but didn't they – but at the very end, because yeah. San Diego, if they would have stayed with – or San Diego, sorry. The Chargers would have stayed with the tie, the Chargers would have went in. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean when you say when I say they barely got it. If it wasn't for that, it wouldn't have mattered all that crap you did the three weeks before. Now I'm gonna give you credit. Yes. Now, did now keep in mind, do. if it was a tie, both teams would have got in. So Vegas was guaranteed to get in either way. It was no, either going to be the Steelers or the Chargers. No, that's the way it was. Okay. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. So both teams were guaranteed. Tied, they to get both would have got in. Yeah. You're right. But see, right. the Chargers, being the Chargers with that coach that they have, decided, no, no, I'm going to gamble, get the ball back, and win. So Vegas yeah, was I don't like, blame you it. know what? We don't we don't play to tie. We play to win. And you know what? I, I'm not holding that against him at all. Our interim coach said, you know what? You're right. So we're going to play to win. Yeah. We're just going to send I Jacobs mean, down the field, get us in the field goal range, kick the thing, and go home. Look, y'all did your thing. You did what you had to do to get in. I get it. But let's not pretend like it was some big victory. It was for you guys. You haven't been in the playoffs for a while. I, was I totally say, understand. It, As a Chiefs fan, I've been in your position where my guys uh-huh. didn't make the playoffs for years. And then they make it, and we're like, yeah. I remember that one year we made it just because we had Dante Hall. Yeah. The Doing X factor. The right. So I get it. But let's not pretend like that really has any bearing over now. Now, I could be wrong. Y'all could walk in and mollywop the Chargers, and if they do, I will eat all the crow you want to serve, hot or cold. Oh, audience out there, please help me remember this, just in case. (laughs) Hot or (laughs) hot or cold. Now, I'm going to say this. If if they walk into L.A. and they lose that game, I'm not going to be heartbroken, because you're right. It's an AFC West game. AFC West games are slugfests. This is the premier division in football. I don't care what anybody else says. I Um, agree. Now, if they walk into the Chargers stadium and Chargers beat them by 50, (laughs) there's a problem. There's a huge problem. And if you guys go in, like I said, and you whoop them by 50, I'll eat all the crow you want to throw at me, brother. Okay. All right. Real quick before we close this thing out, um, just talking about the entire NFL now. Give me a prediction. Early prediction. I know it's super early. An AFC West champ and an NFC West champ. Don't need to talk about uh, Super Bowl or anything all like that. Well, char- or Chiefs are obviously going to be the AFC West champ. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. AFC, NFC, not, not West. I'm sorry. AFC, NFC. Yeah. 
Well, it's early, so I'm I'm gonna go Kansas City, AFC, and uh, man, I don't really look at this. That that one caught me off guard here. You're, <laughs> you're catching me. I, um, I had to. I had to throw that in to close it out. Um, while, probably while, while you while you think about your NFC, my AFC is gonna be Buffalo. Like you said earlier, I strongly believe they're motivated. It's going to happen. It, it's got to happen this year or they're going to break the thing up. Yeah, I think I'm going to go, you know, it's – why not? Re, replay of, of Super Bowl uh, 55. Chiefs, Tampa Bay. This time, Chiefs victorious. I have Buffalo, Tampa Bay. Buffalo victorious. I don't – I mean, if Buffalo were to win, I wouldn't be surprised. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but The reason why I say gonna, that – Remember what you just said about the Chiefs? I think Buffalo uh-huh. is that team. They were so close, and they were so damn heartbroken. Over They didn't just lose to Kansas City. They lost thinking they had it in the bag. Only 13 seconds left. They can't possibly come back now. We finally got over the hump. What does Mahomes do? True. Drive it down the field, down their throats, win the game. That's got to hurt. Now, now I, I see that our timer is running short here. Yeah. But that is also true. The difference is – the AFC West was not as strong as the AFC East is at yeah. that time. They're still going to have to go through Miami twice. They're still going to have to go through New England twice. They have two gimmies against the Jets. Their division isn't a gimme. That's true. We're going to so, follow all this all year, though, so we will definitely be back with more. Show, I appreciate you, man. Good talk today. Good talk. Hope you all enjoyed the NFL Spectacular. Stay positive. Stay blessed. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegas, (laughs) y'all. Vegas. Later. See you, buddy.